And I know for myself, I have to admit that I often forget about how available they are to help us. And I, I find myself connecting with the Christ much easier, that because, perhaps because we have these visual reminders of them. And, but I also <clears throat> am trying very hard to keep them more and more in my awareness. And I feel like I've always had a connection with my guardian angel, um, but even that you have to work on and, and to be able to remember to call on them for help when we need it. And Flower always encouraged us to uh, try to ask our guardians if there's a name that we can call them so that we can have a stronger bond and connection. And I know for years I tried to do that and not, anything that came, it just didn't feel right. And then it was probably only about a year ago, I woke up with the name Love Light in my consciousness. And I knew instantly that that was what she wanted me to call her. And since that time, I've been using it. And I tell you, it does really help to have that stronger bond again. And I, I don't have the ability to see angels. But I do remember once as a child, just sort of a vague impression of waking up in our mountain cabin and feel, seeing some kind of being of light. I couldn't tell you what it looked like now, but I remember feeling such peace afterwards. And that seems to be the quality, or one of the things that's very consistent from people that have had these experiences, to feel that love and peace coming to us. And Flower said that the love we feel from these beings of light is so great, and it's more than anything that we have ever experienced from other humans. And I also had the experience a couple of weeks ago when I was celebrating my birthday. Um, one of my dear sisters here reminded me that on our birthdays, the veils are thin between us and our guardian angels, and that we're sometimes able to receive more on those days. And that morning, I woke up and instantly had a thought that kind of came out of blue. And, and I thought, I think that's my guardian telling me that's something I need to look at and work on this year. And then later on, another keynote came to me. and I. I was just very grateful that I was able to experience that and to be open to what she could teach me. <clears throat> 